Greetings, I'm Zachary Hepner. I'm pleased to share this Dvar Torah with you for Parshat Shmot. Who determines when societies have taken a fundamental moral shift? Historians? Philosophers? In Parshat Shmot, there are three words that might be a tell, tale sign of the Egyptian moral tectonic shift. You see, both individuals and large groups of individuals and societies at large might be occasionally misguided, have the wrong notion of what is good for the person or the collective, but I'm talking about a more fundamental ontological shift. In Genesis 11, the Tower of Babel story, the shift was Vehachemar Hayalahem Lachomer. The natural resources became product. God had given a garden to mankind, and at some time, at some point, the people of Babylon realized the resources were not themselves uplifting, but monetizable. They could be used to make widgets, credit and equity markets, purely for the sake of the markets themselves. Sand is not to walk and enjoy the beach, but to produce computer chips, and the earth is to maximize output. They might have been motivated by fear, lest we scatter everywhere, but that something very special around us became an agent of progress and nothing more. Three words uttered by Pharaoh, and the Egyptians made a similar tectonic shift. Exodus chapter 1, verse 16. Im ben hu v'hamitenoto v'im bat hi Vachaya. Pharaoh tells the midwives, deliver the baby. When you see it's a boy, then kill him. But the next words are the bombshell. If it's a girl, let her live. Pharaoh did not need to say anything more than kill the boys. Why did he say, and if it's a girl, let her live? It was not to show his humanity. Backtrack to, to Joseph's time, whether Joseph was or was not misguided, he created social institutions in order to preserve society during a time of famine and possibly for future events of economic stress. Exit Joseph, enter a new Pharaoh, and all Pharaoh saw was a society that was exposed to economic risk. When we started our social program, people did not live as long. Our actuaries did not consider what would happen decades later. These social institutions are meant to benefit society, are now burdens of entitlements and debt. Had Pharaoh only said, kill the boys, he would have been possibly misguided. As Rashi says, he was afraid of the oracle that a Hebrew boy would become a great disruptor. But let the girls live turned the Hebrews from an object of fear, a group that people are scared of for some real or misguided reason, into widgets. Have more babies. We need that economic growth. And our long-term projections need more slaves. And to make more slaves, we need more slave women or slave factories. One day the oracle of the great disruptor will pass and we will have a huge ratio of fertile slave women to men and economic growth will go to the moon those words, kol habat techayun, society hides behind its supposed morals with good intentions. Pharaoh was hiding behind his fear-mongering, but in Pharaoh's back pocket was the Hebrew women who were his ticket to economic growth and prosperity for all, that is, for all who are not slaves. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom.